My memories of Martin, I think were the most vivid ones were from 1992. Uh, I was living in Te Araha at the time and we travelled up to see the opening game of the World Cup that, that year and then we also travelled up to see the, the semi-final. Um, Two, two great games, and but like the last World Cup, they really attracted the attention of the of the uh, New Zealand public. Um, the first game against Australia, uh, big memories of that. A lot of people talk about uh, Martin Crowe being a genius as a captain and opening the bowling with Dipak Patel, but the real memory I have of that game is Martin Crowe getting a hundred and just not playing a false shot. Is playing beautiful cricket shots all around the ground and uh, playing a, a match winning innings which led us to a surprise victory over Australia. Um, and then in the semi-final uh, New Zealand actually finished top qualifier and we played the fourth qualifier, uh, Pakistan, and uh, again Martin Crowe came out and he got 90, 90 something and got run out. Um, but we still had a big enough total to, to win the game, um, but uh, then Martin unfortunately had got injured during his innings and uh, wasn't able to take the field and as it turns out it was a dramatic finish to the game uh, and, and Pakistan won. But both of those games the great impression was of just a beautiful, talented, technically so correct batsman who just got on top of what were world class bowling attacks and just looked so comfortable. Um, and in that series, that World Cup series, uh, he, I think he was man of the man of the series. Uh, he averaged over a hundred, so just told you what a what a great player he was. Um, uh, some other personal memories um, in the late 1990s. Um, I was coaching the New Zealand development side, which I think is like the equivalent of the New Zealand under-19s at the time, and we had clinics down at at Christchurch. In the old Christchurch uh, rugby, uh, Christchurch rugby club uh, um, quarters, um, and Martin was one of the coaches that, that would come down to those those sessions. And again, you just were made aware of what a brilliant cricketing mind he had. Those young players just hung on every word. Um, he was so good on on technique. Um, you know, often he's quoted as being the being the model for the almost the perfect batsman, but he was able to talk technique to the players. But more important than that, what he got across to those young players was about the art of batting, you know, what you thought about when you, were, when you were in the middle, how you prepared to bat, and it made you aware of the fact that he was just a consummate professional in how he approached the game of cricket, and, uh, and certainly the young players learned a massive amount, amount from that. Uh, my memories of um, Martin, Go back to uh, the times that uh, I played against him, uh, which were numerous. Um, several incidents through that era stuck in my mind. Um, one in particular on the field um, was when uh, we were playing in Pukekohe, I believe, and uh, it, this is sort of demonstrates how um, competitive Martin was as a youngster. He, um, he was given out LBW and uh, sometime during the, uh, one of the breaks he approached the uh, umpires with a, um, a graph of how it was impossible to have been given out and uh, I think that was sort of all my experiences were with Martin were around that competitive competitiveness. Uh, absolutely no doubt that he was one of the finest players I ever bowled. To, um, I think he was held in such high regard that I went to a, um, a level three coaching course in Australia in '99, I believe, and um, the two people that they put up as the the best in their fields were Sir Richard Hadley as the bowler and Martin Crow as the batter, and I think that was a testament to his his greatness um, that they believed that he was technically the best player. Um, I was lucky enough to uh, bowl to him, or unlucky enough, whichever way you look at it, a lot of times. Um, got his wicket two or three times, but he certainly scored a lot of runs against uh, ND in particular. Uh, a great player, sadly missed, and um, yeah, I 
Port Skoda to his family.